All right, uh, boys and girls, so this is just a quick video, uh, very quick. Uh, I've been meaning to make it for a little while. It's on how you can use object markers um, or camera markers as I have made. And you can see the camera markers that I've added here. So let me firstly play the video for you and then we can get to it. All right, now you've seen the video, you've seen some of our effects. So to get this actually working in the code, it's quite easy. I'm gonna show you my code now. The speech I've just added, this is just to make the story for this video, okay? It serves no other purpose. But the parts we really need to worry about are here. This one code, which calls this camera place. This code allows the camera to move between different points of view. As you can see. Now, why you have this is it makes your story interesting. Just having your screen on the same point of view, not doing anything else and just having some speech really makes your story not that interesting. So this adds more dynamic. All you have to do is literally a few quick steps. The first step, you add a camera marker. Now I can call this camera marker whatever I want. Let me call it um, top of scene. You're gonna see what happens. Uh, now if you notice actually, this is a good thing. It states here, I can't name that. Why? Because you can't have spaces in code. You have to use the underscore character. Spaces aren't included. So now that I've got that, I'm going to click OK. It becomes purple. The easiest way to actually set this up, and I'm going to show you this, and I'll show you what happens. If we go to here, the camera is at this point at the moment because that's where I did the camera marker. Say I want the camera marker here instead. If I press this, it'll go back to that point. However, if I go up like this, I'll show you where the helicopter is as well if you're wondering in a minute. I can then, instead of pressing this one, I just click here. This will move this highlighted camera angle to where I am looking right now. You have a look, it just moved up. Now, if I click as we go, we've got the few. If I skip to this one, I don't click that now. I click this. This will get me back to that top view. Right. So this is how we can actually position our camera markers. Say I wanted this to be somewhere different instead. I could go down, rotate around, whatever I like, really. Just trying to give you some ideas. Say I want that view instead. Now the problem is, this is all the way over here. It's actually at this point. So what I want to do is I want to again, press this button to move this purple camera to where I am right now, which is all in this part. So we'll see the purple camera move when I press it now. Do you see? Now it's set, and if I go to here, and then I want to check where this is, again, to check where your cameras are, you press this button, not this one. I press that, it's there. To set your position to a different point, you have to select the camera you want to change the position. So I want to pilot, pilot close up, I would actually click here, and it will move the camera to where I am now. You only use this once. 
once your camera angle is set up. Then to get back to any of them, it's this one. So that's how you set up your camera markers. How do you do it in the code? It's pretty easy. You have to use this code. This is by going to camera and then place right here. When you get that, you have this option, which goes to left of the camera, right of, above, below. You always want to have it in front so that you don't see the camera itself. So if you click on in front, you'll always be guaranteed it'll work out for you. This is the object that you want to have the camera film. So remember, I named all my markers. If you have a look, they've all got names. When I go to the code, these are the names. Pilot close up, pilot max close, biplane, train. Make the names of your camera markers enough for you to know what they are so that when you look at this big list, you actually know which ones to click on. Now, this is a very interesting point. You see I have duration of zero, then I have the same thing and duration of two. You need to have two of the same. Why is because this block gets the camera to go from this place to now this place straight away. And then you want the camera to stay there for a bit of time. So if you don't have this, it will then move. It will not stay. It will move to the next place. So you need to have a zero to get it to the spot you want. And then you need to have it to a number to make it stay there for a little while. And this is how the cameras really change in the story by using this code in joining with your camera markers. If I change these around, the story will look different because the camera will go to whatever I choose. So let's try that instead. Do you see now? It started off like this, where in fact, I wanted it to start off at my first camera, which is here. If I pick this instead, this is what would happen. See, it would start here. So you need to make sure that your code for the camera markers makes sense for your story and you put the right code in. All right, that's it. It's just a quick one on camera markers. Make sure that you put the right code but that you set up your camera markers correctly.